Hey guys, and this video is on a little, a lot different actually, it is how to train your dragon, dragon vs dragon, this is a full dragon tournament, there's a bracket, and what is the most powerful dragon, this is all my opinion guys, Be make sure to share your opinion down below, now first, the Gronkle vs the Gonsicle, what would happen if the two cousins fought each other? Now this is based off of 1 disadvantages and advantages, 2 agility and speed, and 3 overall power. You guys, if you're wondering what this picture is, it is the Gonsicle but in Titan Wing, Titan wing form. Now the Gonsicle advantages for the Gonkle is that it's full ice. That's the main thing, but it's it has the coldest blast out of all dragons. It is minus 321 Fahrenheit and minus 196 C. I forgot what it's called, sorry guys. But it is the coldest blast of all dragons, as I said before. Now, it freezes water as it swims. Now, that is not a advantage or a disadvantage. It is a slight advantage, but isn't really that big of one. Now, guys, it another advantage is it has 10 shot limits. Once it shoots 10 times, it is out, and it has to sort of, like, reload. Which is big, because the Gonkle only has 6. So, when if the Gonkle runs out, the Gonsicle still has four more shots left, which is big. Now guys, the Gonsicle disadvantages are, one, it's ice, and two, it is not the greatest dragon. It is the first dragon to ever show interest into a human and not really, not interest, but not to attack it or do anything. And then... Another disadvantage is, wait, it's it's just ice, okay? Like, that is a big thing. And it's, an, one, it's last advantage is it's ice and it can blend in with the snow. Now, on to the Gronkle, oh, and wait, for those reasons, it deserves a 5 out of 5 for advantages and disadvantages. Um, now, the Gronkle, this is the Titan one wing for the gonkle also guys so the gonkle is has lots of advantages also it has it's it shoots out molten lava which is really big now its attack isn't very powerful but when it comes into this case it really is now it has lots it has a draw strength, but I don't think in this case it would get up to that far. Now, one thing that we have not seen is the Bump Scatter Blast. Now, when they are provoked or surrounded, the Gronkle will inhale deeply. The bumps on their bodies will blast off and scatter in every direction for self-defense. This is a hidden ability. However, it hasn't been shown yet. Now, guys, that is also sort of big that's not really an advantage or disadvantage because it doesn't do much but it is a little bit as not really of an advantage but a hidden move if you did not know that now again it has a jaw strength it has a sharp jaw not a sharp but its jaw is very strong now meatlug has proven of a strong warrior Provoke, um, to make a powerful warrior like Stoked Vast stun on the ground for a short period of time. That's what Meat Lug did once. And so it doesn't really have that much advantages or disadvantages. So for those reasons, it gets a 4 out of 5. So guys, on to the next thing. Speed and agility. Now guys... This is big also, because some, these are big dragons, okay, big and, like, 
you know what I mean, big, tough rock dragons, rock or ice dragons. I do probably think the Titan Wing is bigger and heavier than Meat Lug or the, the regular Gonkle. Because it isn't, I do think it is the same speed than the Gonkle. Its agility isn't too big and its speed isn't too high. But they are still faster, probably walking than flying. Um, I actually don't know, it's definitely questionable. It depends if it's flying really high up or it's hovering not that high up, like right off the ground. So it isn't really that fast. Now for those reasons, it gets a 4.5 out of 5. Now the Gronkle is also a very very slow dragon but it it is lower on the it's faster when it's lower on the ground than higher up in the air that's where i got it from the gonskull is so much like the gonkle i think that it might be the same but the gonkle is very actually fast if you think about it i mean Gonkles are much faster on the ground, as I said. They are very maneuverable, though, in the air, being able to go backwards, sideways, and even hold still to hover, as Meatlug has shown. And Meatlug has also shown to be able to stay on their hind legs to walk. Now, Gonkles have extremely tough scales that can withstand many attacks from enemy dragons and vikings. Now, a, gon a wild gonkle was shown to take attacks from viking, from his mace, sorry. Um, but yeah guys, it is also very maneuverable, as I just said, and is actually not that slow, if you think about it. I don't think it is the slowest dragon, to be totally honest with you. It probably is maybe in the top 10 slowest dragons, but I don't think it's definitely the slowest. Um, so yeah, it has lots of stamina and the uh, ability, but that's, that's kind of that. The stamina is better than their speed. They have so much stamina. I mean, they have lots of stamina. So guys, for those reasons, I couldn't really say much about it, but they do get a 5 out of 5. Now for overall power, the Gonsicle isn't bad. By the way, I found this picture picture on Google. Um, this is the Gonsicle on the Dragon Eye, guys, if you have not already seen that. But guys, the overall power for the Gonsicle is... It can hide in the snow, maybe getting its first attack, but also the gron Gronkle has, is very maneuverable and it has strong senses. So I do think it would miss their first shot, the Gonsicle would. Now, again, whoever basically gets the first shot wins, kinda. Because if lava hits full ice dragon, then it's bound to melt, you know, and to hurt a lot. But then, it says, as I said before, 321 Fahrenheit and 196C, or cold, or whatever that stands for, I forgot. Um, and this can potentially freeze their victim to death, which is very, very, very big. When you're hitting anything, even... This is sort of like a fire dragon, the Gonkle is. And it can freeze water. Now, oh, and by the way, guys, I do think they would fight an, an ice biome thingy. Because the Gonsicle can't move too far away from home, from ice. Because it would melt. Now, guys, for these reasons, it gets a 4.5 out of 5. Now, the Gonkle isn't bad, isn't the best fighting dragon, 
but is also powerful. It isn't weak. But guys, the Gronkle, it has a strong shot and a strong tail. If the Gronkle was to come up on it, it would definitely, definitely get the spikes on the tail. Or the the boulder thingy, you know? Um, now, the the attack, it says, is 8 for the Gronkle. The speed is 4, but in the movie, it's a lot faster than 4. The armor is 20, firepower 14, shot limit 6, as I said, and jaw strength 8. The stealth is not high, especially when it's on ice. It has a fast, fast recharge, and doesn't really matter that it has 6 shots, because after like... Three to five minutes, it recharges. Most dragons take a lot, a lot longer. In this draw expansion, they can hold three fully grown sheep in their mouth, which doesn't really matter in this case, but it does show their draw, draw strength. Now, I could say a lot more, but there isn't really too much else to say because of this. Now, this isn't a Gronkle or Gronkle fact video, although I did show some very interesting information. But for those reasons, the Gronkle deserves a 5 out of 5, which means the Gronkle wins this battle. Now, guys, this was a hard choice because the Gronkle, I do think, would miss a lot of shots and the Gronkle would be able to shoot him first and get another couple shots off. Because once the Gronkle is on the ground, the Gronkle would be able to get a couple more shots off. So for those reasons, the Gronkle, the Gronkle, sorry, the Gronkle moves on. And guys, as you can see on the bracket that I have made, the Gronkle right here, as you can see, the cursor has moved on. Now, the Gronkle will either face Hot Purple or the Hobble Gun in the next round. Now, I will do a video on that also. Um, but guys, anyway guys, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Either the Gronkle will play Hot Purple or Hobble Gun. I will say what will win in the next video, Hot Purple or Hobble Gun. Make sure to check that video out in maybe tomorrow or later today. Anyway guys, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. See ya.